grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. Uh, in today's video, we actually have an amazing attack. It's probably one of the one of the better examples of my Cryonir RZM sort of attacks. Uh, so I'll show you guys to that in a second. It was also unboosted. Um, just a disclaimer though. If you guys can hear like a fan in the background, I really do apologize for that. I'm hoping my mic doesn't pick it up. Uh, pretty much I've got my computer working in overdrive and it's making a bit of a racket. So, uh, if you guys can hear that, apologies for that. Uh, but let's go on to my attack log. Uh, sorry again, that's his name. Not sure what he's sorry about because I kicked his butt. But look at that. 59% gunboat energy, 32 troop health, 43 troop damage. We'll pause it just there. Seeing as we got the new scout feature. Oh, what? I can't... It doesn't work on statues. Okay. Well, that's a 36% troop damage. Uh, sorry, building damage. 32 troop health. And there's like some 11s and some 12s there. There's also some hidden behind the trees. One... Here, uh, one here, one there, and one up in the back corner here, I believe, somewhere. But it winds up being 117% uh, building health and 36% uh, building damage. So this is the this is the base. It's a double shield generator base. You can see one in the middle there. You should be able to see that. The second. I'm not sure. You can see the cable there next to the wood storage. It's like hidden in the back corner behind that radar. So I didn't notice that until I did one attack on this guy and I failed because I took out the shield generator and I went right up the right side to the HQ and it still had a shield generator. So I had to, I had to, what do you call it, abort? And then I had to go and do a do the attack again. But now we're this is my second to try on the, second try on the base. The first try, as I said, I didn't know it had two shields. So this is my first attempt having uh, the two shields. So I, just a little bit of uh, commentary here. I took I started out by GBEing the rocket and the shock blaster because I knew where I wanted to finish up at. I was going to flank back around and go up the top. So as long as I took out the shield, all right. So now that I've taken out the shield, everything I need is done. I needed to place that smoke there because I felt like that shock blaster was going to get another shot off and that was going to really start to hurting, so I had to keep my guys safe. And it's still relatively cheap at the moment, so uh, that's not a problem. I At the start... Oh no, that was, sorry, that was a different attack. But yeah, shocking, keep this, the idea here right now is to keep every the threat shocked. Conveniently, I can shock the shock blaster, oh sorry, the shock launcher, the rocket, and the mortar with one shot. So, uh, that critter box was absolutely wasted. I didn't really get any use out of those critters. I was hoping to time it before the shock launcher targeted me. That was the idea there. So, right now... The effects of wasting that critter box is going to really start hurting because you guys know my statues. I don't have a whole lot of uh, GBE. But we're going to get that shock launcher. And you can see my riflemen right now have dropped like flies. So I'm going to have to start flaring back, I think. Oh, no, I, I waited to get that mortar knowing that I wouldn't be able to spread out my troops to get it killed again. So... That was a bit of a risky play, but should pay off for me in the end. And I, I'm pretty sure it does, actually. I uh, should have enough GBE for a medkit. So you medkit prior to the flamethrower starting fire, which will help keep you guys alive longer. And boom. There goes the, there goes the flamethrowers. So I'm at the, I'm at the HQ. That medkit was a bit late, but that... My my, war, my riflemen were already damaged anyway. You can see how long I can keep my riflemen alive. Just by placing a medkit. If you place it like when it's already hurting you, it's pretty much too late. You're going, you're going to lose troops pretty badly. Uh, so, boom, there it goes. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that attack. Uh, it, I think it really showcases what you can do with Cryonir RZM when you get your timing right and you get your technique right. So many base, there are certain bases that you'll struggle with, and you just need to practice them. And that base was one of the ones that I was struggling with for a long time. The double shield base. The double shield base isn't hard when the person's got no ice. But the more ice you throw into the equation, the harder it becomes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, that attack. And I'll see you guys in the next one.